I was dreaming so good. Mm. You was dreaming too, babe? Mm-mm. Uh. All right, y'all. I am here. It is chilly, but I am here. Oh, it's cold. Morning. Another morning where the music is like really loud. Just ridiculous. Like, we'll see. Guess what? Your girl went to level seven today on the elliptical. Yeah, me, yeah, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this machine, I can't even get my legs through here. It feels so uncomfortable. She said it don't adjust, so. Yeah, the weight to my legs slim down because they don't they don't fall in it right, so I can't. It just feel like my leg about to break. <laughs> uh uh, can't do it. Okay, let's go. About to get ready to do everything all over again. Another round of it. So guys, during this journey, my goal is in the beginning to at least burn 300 calories within an hour. Now, I've been trying to shoot for that almost every day, but it's kind of hit or miss. But my goal is to burn more calories in less time as the journey goes on. Seven minutes. I love is Raymond. I love Frasier. I like a lot of stuff that people call dry comedy. I love these shows, Friends. A lot of them. <laughs> All right, let me enjoy this massage and relax. Hold on. Let me show you my workout time. That's what I burned this morning. All right, guys. This morning I was really frustrated. Time came today. Yeah, so the blow is real. Yeah, so you already know. The blow is real. Hunger. I'm not really having hunger pains. I think I'm just thinking about food or not having like cravings. I'm just thinking about food or when I walk downstairs in the kitchen, I'll see something. I'm like, oh, nope, can't have it. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. I'm just very frustrated today. Like I wanted to kick the scale, like kick it, toss it completely out the back window, down the street, down into another city and it shattering little pieces. That, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. Yeah. Um, but I know it's the bloating. I know it's the bloating. Oh my gosh. I know it's the bloating. So my goal for next week is to implement the two days of cardio, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do legs, abs, upper body, like arms and upper body. Um, so yeah, that's what my plan is. So starting, will it be? It will be Tuesday for you guys because remember, you guys will always get my Friday that next Monday because I'm doing it uh, a day ahead and I don't do weekends. But I may be changing that up as far as the weekends go because I'm, I'm getting that jolt that I really want to push, push, push to reach um, this first um, goal that I have written on that paper. But um, that's how I feel, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it at my pace and take it. Um, how I feel I should take it so yeah next week Tuesday you guys will see the start of me starting like a leg day so I'll do um no I think I'll do Monday or be to upper body abs in the middle then legs and then I'll probably do that for a couple weeks and I'll let you guys know if I switch up my workout today's workout was pretty cool um I like creative workouts I can't keep doing the same repetitive thing it kind of gets irritating to me and that's what helped me stay in it before because like oh let me do this long as I'm working out and I'm burning calories and building my muscles um that's all that matters to me right now 
I'm not writing it down or not trying to stay on my reps and sets and stuff like that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to just get over 30 days of just being in the gym, period. That's where I'm at right now. Um, later on, I'll get more in-depth with keeping track of what I'm doing. So that way I'm not doing anything so repetitive to my body gets used to it and no results are coming. So definitely um, next week I will be doing focus days. Like I said, upper body, then abs, then legs. And that's how that's going to be. So you guys will know what it is. Um, in the video you know you'll know okay she doing legs today cardio then legs and then I always want to end off with a little bit of cardio to warm me up to um, cool me down I think that's what I may do so we'll see I'm thinking that that's what I would do warm up with cardio go into that workout and then cool down with a little bit of cardio like 10 minutes at least 10 minutes of cardio to you know loosen me back up for whatever <sighs> working out I did and then go from there so yeah, Rizzy's at school, Naya's downstairs, um, cleaning up, she actually didn't have school today, and, um, hubby went out to his appointment, so I'm just chillaxing, um, what time is it? I don't eat my first meal, I'm gonna do my first meal tonight at, um, 3, I think I'm gonna wait till 3, so I'm gonna, um, probably do some ACV, um, at 2 30 a half an hour before i eat um and see how that works um yeah see how that works because i've been doing it for the wake up and then bedtime but they were saying it's good to do it before your meals too what do you guys think do you guys do it before meals or do you just do it once a day do you do it you know um bed and wake up and then meals like how do you do your acv if you ever take an acv um so yeah all right y'all frustrating day to scales it wasn't my friend and I know I can see change in different places but I'm just being honest with you because you can be positive and speak positive but that doesn't mean that sometimes thoughts and things go in your brain especially when you're going through a challenging moment in life with change so I'm gonna always repeat that um I don't want to be fake on here saying, oh, you know, be positive, do this, do this, and act as if those thoughts never come to my mind just because I'm being positive. No, they do. And I do want to kick the scale and I get upset if I don't see the scale move because let's be real. Come on now. Y'all going to hear me say this a lot. We want to see that scale move because it's like an indication that your work is not for nothing, you know? So, all right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later make my wrap i got some helmets and black pepper on there and this is the last of my meat this meat is so freaking good from sam but my hubby went and got me this i'm gonna try this from um oscar meyer so we shall see but i'm not i thought i had a little bit so that's why i got that out but this is enough to do my wrap so i'll probably taste that some other time when i eat another wrap and I'm going to put some of my hell of a good cheddar on there. Got my water. This is for dinner. Um, the pork butt. We're going to have pulled pork, collard greens. That's what I'm eating. I don't know what else they're eating with it. But that's what I'm going to eat. Pulled pork and collard greens. But yeah, this is what I'm eating. And I'm going to also have some fruit. And either a rice cake with peanut butter or pretzels. You guys will see. Let me let me get this made. I'm hungry. It's 3 o'clock. This is my first meal, guys. All right. Plans. I decided to eat this instead of the rice cake and I put a little whipped cream on my fresh pineapples that we cut up and strawberries, some cashews, and I have my wrap. So that is my first meal. And my next meal is not until um if I eat at three, four, five, six, to seven. So guys, this is a semi-homemade um treat that I found on Pinterest. It's like a banana pudding a bowl or something like that so i just made a french vanilla cake betty cracker like 88 cents frugal okay real cheap instead of buying um all the stuff for the pound cake and then basically what you're going to do is let it cool off layer it in a bowl take your instant banana pudding with a cup and a half of almond milk and a can of condensed milk and just mix that all together with half of thing of cool whip and then just layer it over the cake with bananas until you finish off it's just basically two layers with whipped cream and we shall see how this tastes for dinner this is my food my greens and my um, pork butt and 
my um, dessert. This one came out a little sweet. I don't know if the condensed milk, I don't know. Maybe I should put less condensed milk, but I just tasted a couple bites and it was, it was, it's t it tastes good, but it was kind of sweet. So I think my taste buds are literally changing because this was really sweet to me. See, that just goes to show how I love sweet stuff and now I'm like, ugh, not too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably do half a can next time or maybe less than that. All right, I'm about to enjoy my dinner, and that'll be my last meal for tonight. This is the end of the night. <sighs> I found that recipe on um, Pinterest, and I just wanted to try something different. It was all right. It was just too sweet for me. Um, like I said, I will probably next time. I added the cinnamon and the almond thing. I did my own thing. I love almond flavor and stuff. <clears throat> but um, I was like, hmm, let's see how this does. It's, it was a quick instant pudding type of thing. I said, let me try it. But ugh, that condensed milk, I was thinking like, dang, this is going to be sweet. But I was like, let me just go with it. But I will definitely be twerking that, tweaking it and um, twerking it. You hear me? Tweaking it and doing maybe half or a third because it was just... It wasn't bad, um, but for me, it was too sweet, and I think that's because my taste buds are changing. I haven't been really eating sweet stuff like that, so I may not eat any more of that. Um, so, yeah, but today was a decent day. As you can see, I had to do Rizzy's hair, kind of do a light press to it and um, uh, dust her ends off and put in a little bun, um, get her prepared for a recital on Saturday. So yeah that was that um how did i feel today haven't used the bathroom i did but i can tell it wasn't it was like you know how you feel like you gotta use it and it's gonna be more than it is and it's not so i more than likely this sunday will have to do epsom salt flush um if i don't use the bathroom tonight or either tomorrow i will be doing epsom salt flush now epsom salt is good that's something that's good to do at least um i think they said once a week um because it's it's a natural thing, so I'll probably be doing that Sunday. Other than that, no real cravings. I know when I ate my first meal, it just seemed like my stomach is shrinking because I couldn't get all that food down. I could not get all that food down. It was like a task, and I found myself trying to make myself eat. I'm like, why? You don't have to. Then it's like, I'm trying to keep track with y'all of everything I eat, and then I'm like, if I don't eat it, then I have to come back and say, oh, I didn't eat all this. So I said, you know what? I'm going to just probably go a little bit lighter on my first meal because I be ready to eat. And so my eyes are bigger than my stomach. And then it's like, uh, I'm making myself eat and I don't want to keep doing that. So that was um how that was. My roll, my wrap was really good. Everything was tasty. It's just I didn't need all of that. Like I could have did without the fruit and I could have did without the, um, the Cheez-Its, even though I just realized I paid attention to the fact that they're only 100 calories, which is amazing. But um, everything else was really, huh? Mm -hmm. But everything else, tell me how you like it, okay? okay? Um, Yeah. Now, my banana pudding, my real deal banana pudding, be the bomb. But, um, yeah, I seen that. It was a recommended pun, and I was like, oh, let me try it. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. It's eight something, and I pray that I can get in the bed by 10. Like, I'm about to take this stuff off this um camera and put it on the computer and edit it and try to get in the bed by 10 I'm one, two, three. hopefully that'd be five hours of sleep so let's see if i can do it but yeah i'm just gonna keep pushing tomorrow is my um what's tomorrow tomorrow tomorrow's friday yeah tomorrow is a full body day so i'm gonna be going back to doing the um the yellow room the 30 minute yellow room that'll be probably my last time doing that because like i said i'm gonna work on parts of the body monday wednesday friday lower body mid body and then upper body um so that's how i'm gonna do that and then kind of go around the gym and do those because it's more equipment for the legs for the upper body and the abs and stuff in different parts of the gym instead of just using just what's in the um um that yellow room i don't know we'll see but whatever i work on you will know what day it is because you'll see um, so that's basically what I'm going to do um, tomorrow and then Monday we'll start fresh with the the body parts um, focusing totally on that part for that day 
and um do that and see how many weeks I want to keep doing that I think I might like doing that better but yeah that's what's what's happening and um I'm about to get my night clothes ready edit this and then try to lay my butt down and um then take my ACV and that'll be a wrap for tonight I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Please make sure that you subscribe. If you are new to this channel, this is my journey on getting out of my obese and overweight mode. Um, well, overweight, you know, <laughs> when it comes to that, it's, you really can't. I don't know. Everybody's overweight if it comes to that. But long story short, um, I, I'm sharing my journey and a little bit of every day of this journey and how I feel ups and downs and emotions and everything. Um, and... I want to share that with you guys so you can see the inside of it, not just me coming out showing you, oh, look at my new body, look at me. No, I want to share the journey with y'all, and y'all see me transform before your eyes, so that's my whole point. And that is very inspiring when somebody can literally see a journey um, versus you just popping up and, I'm, oh, this is what I did. No, I'm going to show y'all what I did and show y'all what I eat because... If you're new, I tell my revivers all the time, and that's what I call my subscribers. I call them revivers. I don't like saying subscribers, but um, I want to do something that I know I can do for the rest of my life and not something that's going to be a task or I'm dreading doing. So I'm trying to transition and change, and I'm sharing all the changes, all the things I'm trying and all that with you guys so you can see that I'm doing what I can to find out what works best for me. So, yep, not going to drag this too long. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that thumbs up bell, and make sure, thumbs up button, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications on the videos. And I will see you guys later, Gators. And if you've made it this far, and I know this is like the end of the video. I am going to, um, I want you to look, look, hashtag at the bottom. <clears throat> we got this. Let's push. Okay. We got this. Let's push is the hashtag I want to see in the actual um, comments. In your comment or just comment that. All right. Litigators.